placing a ride, making this kind of investment. So it's really exciting to have everyone come out and check it out and celebrate with us. And we think we have something really cool for you guys to see. As part of the process of moving the ride, we do need to move this big green sea dragon off the pier. So we thought it'd be really, really cool uh, to have everyone come down and see this helicopter, pick this thing up and take it around the end of the Santa Monica Pier up north to Point Wainini, where it's gonna begin its journey over to St. Louis, Missouri to be installed at the city museum uh, for people to enjoy for years to come. Uh, the new ride we're really excited about, for those of you who went onto our website, uh, packpark.com slash memories, still open if you want to leave your thoughts. Uh, for, for those of you who uh, from the community have shared with us that, you know, you're really going to miss the Sea Dragon, you're sad that we're taking it out, um, well, good news, we got a brand new one. Uh, we've been working on it for the last uh, several weeks, and uh, we're really excited to be debuting it um, in uh, spring break. Um, the new ride is in the exact same location, very familiar, bright green, uh, shiny exterior, and we have some really cool new theming and ride enhancements uh, that we'll be unveiling uh, for spring break. So really excited to invite everyone down, ride the new ride, and check that out. Um, but this morning, what we're here for is to say goodbye and say see ya uh, to our 26-year-old sea dragon that'll be taken off on its final journey uh, north of the pier here uh, in just a few minutes. Um, if uh, Mayor Davis would be so kind to come on up here and uh, make a few remarks. And then I um, also want to, uh, as she's walking up, give a thanks to our mariachi band, Mariachi Divas. Thank you so much. <laughs> Providing some excellent entertainment this morning. We'll hear from them again. Mayor Davis. Thank you so much, and I think I'm going to try and beat the helicopter noise. Uh, Nathan, thanks. Um, as sea dragons go, this one will be sorely missed for its fun-loving charm and its historical importance to Santa Monica and the Santa Monica Pier. Our beloved pier opened on California Admissions Day, September 9th, 1909, and one of the first things I got to do when I was on the council was celebrate the centennial of the pier, so I know what that means to this community. This pier has a storied past and includes the opening of a variety of attractions and amusements throughout the years. And after discussions to decommission the pier in the 1970s, the pivotal Save Our Pier Forever group was formed. Organized by community activists in 1973, they set forth a plan to return amusements and attractions to the Santa Monica Pier for both Santa Monica residents and visitors to Santa Monica. Reconstruction took place from 1987 to 1990. I used to live right over there and watched it when I moved here in 1986. And they improved and repaired the pier, installing concrete pilings, concrete fishing decks, and a classic wooden boardwalk that would house an amusement park. In 1996, Pacific Park opened, becoming the first amusement park on the pier since the 1930s. And with that opening was our first introduction to the Green Sea Dragon. We're standing here on the Santa Monica Pier 50 years after our community organized to save the pier and to celebrate another classic amusement park ride. Thanks to the grassroots efforts of our citizens and community partners, we've had the Sea Dragon for quite some time and we're going to have a beautiful new one starting soon. And over that time, over the past, the popularity of Santa Monica has grown, and the pier remains one of the premier attractions in our community. I think a lot of you share that sentiment. I have had the pleasure of raising three daughters on the Santa Monica Pier, which has really been a great experience. And of those, my youngest daughter, Stella, had kind of planned her life as to what she was going to be doing on the pier and when. And, when she, uh, and this was when she was like four years old. She decided that she was going to ride the Sea Dragon at age eight. <clears throat> so when she turned eight, we brought her and tried to hold her to that promise to herself. And she was pretty scared. And so we went home and we talked about it, worked out a little story on our own that we end ended up writing down about a, a little girl who was afraid of a Sea Dragon in the ocean, but ended up making it her best friend. And then we hired an illustrator and we released this book when she was 10 years old, Stella Rose and the Sea Dragon inspired by that sea dragon behind me <clears throat> and she's here now she's a little older than eight she's actually 14 now but come on up stella <laughs> gotta say a few words sure um when i was little i was always afraid of the sea dragon but i knew it was the best ride at the santa monica pier and when I was eight, I built up the courage to finally ride that ride. And it turned out to be my favorite ride. I'm really sad that it's leaving, but I am excited 
to get to ride the new Sea Dragon and love it too.